guys! So today I'm going to do a budget video. Um, I'm in a different room because I was getting bored of doing it in the office because it was just looking rubbish so I thought I'd film in my bedroom today. Um, it's going to be a quick video just about little tips that I have for saving money when you're a student or when you just don't have enough to go crazy on beauty stuff. So yeah. One of the most important things is to budget. Um, budgeting is really important because it really lets you know how much you're spending on your beauty stuff and everything else. I don't mean like budget every single thing, I don't mean like uh, say oh my god I'm going to spend this much about on shoes and then I'm going to spend this much on whatever, hair. I don't mean that, I just mean like say, like say you have a house and kids and I don't know, a car. You need to, it would be important to budget for your children, budget for your house, so this much goes on like bills, this much goes on children and this much goes on car and then see what you've got left over, see if there's anything else important that you need to buy and then know that that much is allowed for your beauty stuff. And the reason it's so important is because um, if you don't you just think well oh, I've totally got like about I don't know 70 pound for beauty stuff and then you go and buy stuff and don't even think about it, just hand the card over and then, oh, just dropped something, anyway, and then you hand the card over and then you, like before you know it, you spend like way too much. So yeah, just knowing that you have a certain amount that you can spend, it stops you from going crazy and it makes you value your money more. I mean, when I know that I, like if I don't think about it, which I have done before, I've not always budgeted, um, when I don't know about it. Um, like recently actually, I was being silly and I was just like handing my card over for everything I, I like in shops and stuff. Just being bad basically. And um, and then I looked at my bank and I was like, oh my god. But then when I actually know, if I know I've got £70 to spend, you know, if I'm not that lucky, then I value it more. I'm like, oh, I've got £70 worth of really good stuff that I really like. Um, and that just makes me more appreciative when you when you realise what you're spending it on, it makes you realise how lucky you are to have those things. If you just keep spending and spending, take it for granted. Like how some people say celebrities take things for granted and stuff like that. Rich people do. Because it's just it's money to them that they don't really think about. When you think about it, when you budget, you're thinking about what you're spending and you appreciate it more. So then you gain more satisfaction from budgeting. So it's not only saving you money, but it's actually making you appreciate what you have more. The next tip is something that like not everyone would like but um, I know that I've liked it and it's a beauty box. Now there's different beauty boxes and I've only tried one. I've tried Glossy Box which I think everyone who watches YouTube knows about Glossy Box um, and I've tried that and I find it really useful because all they do high brand stuff in Glossy Box and I'm not able to afford Lancome and Estee Lauder and all this because I'm a student so I'm, I shouldn't really sp spend any of my money on really high brand stuff because I would have no money for anything else. Um, so Glossbox allows me to have samples of things that are higher brand so I'm able to still access that kind of thing and I'm able to sample stuff before buying it so that if I do buy any high brand stuff I've had like a, some idea of if it's worth it before I even commit to a big buy. So I think that glossy boxes are so good. And also, if you like put that in your budget as part of something that's already money that you can already can't touch as a tenor, you sometimes, like I do, I get surprised when I get my glossy box. I'm like, oh yeah. And then I'm like really happy. It's like a little gift every month. So, and it's only a 10, it's only 10 pounds and then postage and packaging. And I think that's just amazing. Um, and you usually, I think you get four sample sizes and one like normal size thing. So yeah, I think it's really worth it. And um, there's other glossy boxes like Feel Unique, I think there's like one called Birch Box. I'm not sure if that's in the UK. I'm not really sure. I just went for a glossy box and I'm happy with it. But yeah, I would recommend that if you're on a budget and you have that £10 to spare. The next thing is a website that I found recently because of my friend. Um, funnily enough, in Finland as well. She just she helped me with a lot of things. Um, and it's called Pinterest. And it's just a website where you pin stuff, really. What you do is um, anything you like online, you can pin it and it will go onto a board um, and you can make like, boards of everything you like. Like for instance, I've got one that's style, so I pin everything on Pinterest um, when I'm on websites. Like you could go onto New Look, right, and you really love this pair of shoes 
and then you pin that and it'll go into your style um, board and then you can visit your boards and look at all the things that you'd really like. Um, now the reason I think that's good for like budget people is because I often just buy stuff um, and not think about it so like I really like I don't know a pair of sandals for a fiver and that's fine fiver but then I see another hairbrush that I'm like oh, I'll just buy that I'll just buy that coat and then the things that really I really would have liked more and would have appreciated more like um, an amazing dress or amazing pair of shoes I can't afford now but with Pinterest because I have those boards and I can look at them anytime I can look at those boards and think well this is what I'm working for I won't spend my money on all these little things because I get that pair of shoes that I've always wanted and um, because it's easy to forget what you've like that thing like when you're out in a shop it's easy to just be like for and put it in the back of your mind the thing that you've always wanted that you think you can never have you can have that thing if you really want an expensive foundation if you put it on a board it helps you remember it helps you think of how you can actually get that thing that you've always wanted if you just like tame down and like don't spend too much that month um so i think that's really useful that website i think there's other ones but that's the one i use and i think it's really useful to like make you spend your money on things that you really appreciate and really want the fourth tip is another like obvious one but i just thought i'd stress it anyway is bargain hunting um people do like a good bargain but some people don't like the effort but i think like they don't like to make the effort but i think that is actually really useful if you bargain hunt um then you appreciate it more as well like i will like for instance i really wanted the naked palette i didn't want the naked two palette just because personally i like the naked palette um but it's 37 pound or something like that and i was like i'm not buying that at 37 pound because i do not have that money um but I've wanted it for so long, literally since this, since I started watching YouTube videos, which was like quite a while ago, like a couple of years or something like that. I don't know, quite a while ago, and um, I've always wanted the naked palette. But then I just bargain hunt hunted. Like I get vouchers with my um, with my phone. Like if I <clears throat> excuse me, if if I save up points on with my phone for like topping up and stuff, I get like a ten pound voucher. And I knew that I could have used it, but that got used for something else as a bargain. But instead, I went online and I found um, a naked palette brand new for £10 less. Um, and it makes me appreciate it even more. I'm like, oh, so I've like made the effort, I finally got what I wanted, and I didn't have to spend all that money just from the effort that I made to um, find it for cheaper. So I think that's like bargain hunting is so good. Um, and the other thing I think about buying things that are expensive, like the naked palette and stuff is um, research, really research what you're buying because if you spend, if you don't have the money like I, like I don't, if you spend your money on something that's like £40 um, and you don't really have it to spare and then you buy it and you're like oh this is rubbish then it's really not worth it. So I always research like my Naked palette, I've researched about that forever because YouTube everyone talks about it. Um, the foundation that I'm going to buy soon that's expensive, for me anyway it's expensive. I got a sample sent from them and I've tried it so I know that I like it. So I think that if you're ever going to buy anything expensive, really research it. Um, I don't mean like spend days researching, I just mean, you know, get it, like look it up enough for you to really think that is definitely worth it. Because I think, like I do that with everything that's expensive and I, I appreciate the things I get. I, I'm happy with the things I spend my money on and I'm, I've, I don't think I've ever had any disappointing products. The only things that I'm disappointed with are the ones that I buy on a whim that are cheap. But then they're not much of a loss because they're like a pound or whatever. So yeah, I think that's definitely worth thinking about when you buy something expensive. To do a lot of research, just watch YouTube videos. It's easy and it's fun, so just do that with, in, in regards to what you want. But I think it really helps. My last tip is DIY. Do it yourself. Um, do it yourself makeup stuff. Just like, I don't mean like design all your own makeup because you can't afford it because that probably won't work but I mean like do it yourself facials do it yourself bath things and and foot and can make your own creams as well I've made my own moisturizer I was in this club when I was younger basically and this woman came in and she taught us how to make moisturizers and I thought that was so useful and like if you can't afford um, some really expensive stuff 
or you just like to treat yourself to a facial, do it yourself. You appreciate it. It's natural. It's not got all these additive stuff in it that could be bad for you. It's got you know what's going in, going on your face, and you know how to cater it to your face. So I think, or your body, whatever you're using. So I think that do-it-yourself stuff is really useful. You really appreciate it, and it's a great treat. Like when you're free time to make some nice facial or face cream and stuff and like even if you don't want to make your own face cream like the moisturizer I made I don't use it on my face because I've got sensitive skin but my legs get dry and I use it on that and it's so good and it smells so good and I appreciate it because I'm like I made that and it actually does something for me so yeah I think looking up do-it-yourself stuff really helps you save money you don't have to pay everybody else to do the work to make your facials and stuff because you're doing it yourself so that's how you save money and usually it can cost you like three pounds and stuff. So that's the end of this video. I hope you don't think my room looks too awful from behind me because I'm not sure what's in shot if I've like got everything out of the way. But yeah, if you want me to video in this room again then say so. And if you've got anything to tell me, um, leave it in the comments below. Any suggestions or whatever. Feel free to comment and if you like watching me please subscribe so thanks for watching, bye!